Furthermore, the Quran says in Surah Hajj, chapter number 22, verse number 5, that we have created the human beings from a minute quantity of clay, made into alaka, made the alaka into mudga, partly formed and partly unformed. This verse of the Quran was taken to Dr. Marshall Johnson, who is the head of the Department of Anatomy in Dan Institute, in Sir Thomas Jefferson University in USA, in Philadelphia. Now we have come to know in science that if at this stage we cut the embryo and we analyze the organs, we find some of the organs are formed, some are not formed. So Professor Marshall Johnson said, if we describe this stage of the embryo as a complete creation, it will be wrong because some organs are not formed. If we label it as an incomplete creation, that's also wrong because some of the organs are formed. So there's no better description than the description mentioned in the Quran, partly formed and partly unformed. In Arabic, it can also be treated as differentiated and undifferentiated. And Professor Marshall Johnson said that at this stage, some cells are differentiated, some are undifferentiated. Further is mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number 9, that we have given the human beings the faculty of hearing and sight. It's mentioned in Surah Insan, chapter number 76, verse number 2. We have given to the human being the gift of hearing, sight, and feeling. So the Quran first speaks about hearing, then it speaks about sight. And today science tells us the first sense to develop in a human being is the sense of hearing. By the 22nd day, the ear starts to formulate, and by the fifth month of pregnancy, it is completed. And later on, the eye splits open. That's in the seventh month of pregnancy. So the Quran is perfect in conformity with science. First come the sense of hearing, then come the sense of sight. There was an experiment done where a baby whose mother was a typist, a newborn baby was taken, and the mother of that baby was a typist. And that baby, born to a typist, was placed along with other nine babies who were born to normal mothers who were not typists. And the typewriter was sounded. All the babies were scared except the baby of the typist. Because the baby of the typist was used to hearing the typewriter in the womb of the mother. So the baby was used to it, so he wasn't scared. You know, there are many hadiths which say that the pregnant woman should read the Quran. Today, science has confirmed that when the mother is pregnant, when the lady is pregnant, what she sees, what she hears, what she listens, has an impact on the child. 